Fla Kjol, brought to you in association with Fla Kjol Neheren Derry 13 from the 12th to the 18th of August 2013. West of Ireland today in the beautiful city of Derry, which will host Flakyol Neheran 2013. It's the first time that Flakyol Neheran has been in the north, making it a truly historic and momentous occasion. Let's see what Derry City has to offer. Hailed as the gateway to the northwest, Derry is a city pulsating with life. Visitors flock to its bustling streets of the only complete walled city in Ireland. cities on the island of Ireland and it's famed for its links with Column Kill, its beauty, historic walls and the welcome from its people. Sharon O'Connor is the Chief Executive of Derry City Council. She's going to tell us what's in store for this year's FLA. 2013 is going to be a huge year for Derry City. What all is happening? Well, it's a, it's a massive achievement to have landed this designation in the first instance. It's been a huge amount of work to get us ready to, um, to claim the, the crown, as it were. Um, and since we've achieved that, we're in the, um, the mix in terms of planning what is a, just a phenomenal programme of cultural uh, fair for next year. Um, lots of national and international activities, uh, music, verbal arts, um, visual arts, you name it, it's happening here. So, yes, it's a huge year. and. Um, Black Hole in the Iron is, is a key component of that. I suppose Black Hole is going to be one of the highlights for Derry City. I know it's also the city of cultures, but for people who don't know Black Hole in the Heron, what exactly is it and what does it mean for Derry? Well, um, it, it's such a, 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 a uniquely Irish thing, um, the fact that people come around from all over the world to come and celebrate um, uh, Irish culture, music, dance, um, song, and the, the coming together and the celebration of all of that is what makes it happen. It's a real family activity where families come with children who are learning, perfecting their skills, performing, competing. And then there's the whole social um, component of that where the streets are thronged with people who are just out enjoying the whole ambience of the uh, experience, enjoying the music, enjoying the chat, enjoying the stories and back and, and meeting people they've not met before. And it's a coming together and it's in essence a gathering of people who are engaged in music and actively part of the music and the dance and all of that. And people who are just there to soak it up and enjoy it. So it's just a wonderfully unique Irish yeah. happening. And I mean, what is Derry going to offer people? Well, I think one of the unique attributes of this city is this is one of the most musical cities, I believe, on the island of Ireland. You know, this is the place where it has such a strong traditional culture. It has such a phenomenal contemporary culture. This is a city that produced the undertones. This is a city that's about musical innovation and musical excellence. We've got lots of ambassadors of musical genre right across the piece who come from this city. I think when people come here, they'll find something totally unique uh, in terms of a visitor experience. If they're here for the music, they'll hear the finest music um, uh, in the island. And uh, if they're here just for uh, a break and to experience something new, they'll really, really be surprised by the joy of discovery in something that um, they can't get anywhere else. And, and that's a, a story about a city that's had a difficult journey and a resilient people who are just uh, full of the joys of life and really want to share their new story with new people. One of the highlights of the FLA is the Tudors concert. This year's Tudors concert was exceptional. Let's take a look.
Derry's had its fair share of troubles over the years, but after decades of regeneration and investment, the city is now known for its culture and award-winning venues. Derry hosts over 38 festivals every year, making it the perfect place for FLA 2013. On my visit to Derry, I met up with Deputy First Minister Martin McGuinness and spoke to him about his hopes for FLA 2013. My wish is that uh, people will come from not just all of Ireland's 32 counties, I hope people will come from England, from Scotland and Wales, from the United States of America, from all over Europe. We all know that Irish traditional music travels throughout the world. It's appreciated in places like China and Japan. So I want to see visitors coming from everywhere to enjoy uh, an historic event and one of the most uh, important uh, festivals of music and in this case of traditional Irish music uh, ever seen uh, on, on these islands. So I think the wish has to be for people to come, for people to enjoy themselves and for us to continue to move forward, developing the peace process, coming together as a united community and recognising the great wealth of talent that there is on this island. <laughs> Well, as you can see, Derry City has so much to offer, but it's time to move on back to Cavan. Well, next we're going to go over to the marching band competition, which always proves popular with spectators.
From bands to singers, we're going to slow the pace down now for a moment and listen to Aoife Murray, one of Ireland's leading traditional singers. Well, we're coming to the end of our coverage from this year's Fla Kjol. We hope you've enjoyed it. Next year, the Fla travels to Derry in Northern Ireland. At the Fla this year, there was an official handover ceremony as the Fla passes from Cavan 2012 to Derry 2013. An original score was commissioned for the handover starting in Cavan and will be added to as the Fla journeys north. <laughs> Hey, 
This is a piece just to represent the sadness for a lot of people, a lot of traditional musicians, singers and dancers. The All-Ireland and Cavan was an important milestone for them forever. And for years to come, these young musicians will remember these times. And this is for them. As the tune progresses, we shall bring in our dancers, representing both Calvin and Derry, and we shall bring it up to a, a fairly lively way as we make our way up north with all these middles, musicians from Fermanagh, and Donegal and Antrim, and of course Derry and Calvin. This journey's only starting, so it is, and it's a great journey, and as Laura Samoruka said, we're not here forever, and this journey's for everybody, so we'll introduce our dancers.
You're listening to the beat of Ulster. Let's hear it. Congratulations to Derry. As you just seen, they will host Flak Yol Naharan 2013. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage of this year's FLA. So, it's all aboard the Derry bus. <laughs> <laughs>